In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom registration page for your members. Coming up. Hello, my name is Mac, and in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a custom registration page for your members. All right, so let's dive in here and let me show you where to uh, create this. So first of all, I'd like to show you how you do it normally just by using a quick URL. So I'm going to come over here to wish this member, click on setup. Now, for this to work, you have to create a membership level first, okay? So you have to create a membership level first. So I've gone ahead and created three membership levels, but of course, you can only use one if you wanted to. So I have gold, silver, and VIP membership. So uh, I just want to show you quickly by going in here to see the settings for our membership level. So I'm going to click here on edit membership level. So what Wishlist member does is it allows us to go in into each and every membership level and make some changes in that particular level. So here you can see we have registrations, we have requirements, additional settings, email notifications, and actions. Now, so these only apply to this membership level. So you can see here, this is gold membership. So usually uh, what I would normally do is I'll just come over here and uh, use this simple registration URL. So let's go to this URL and let me show you what I mean and why you may need to create a custom registration one. So I'm just gonna paste this and go to this page. All right, so you can see here, this is our registration page, but you're going to notice that uh, we can't really do much in here. We can't go in and make any customizations to this page. And if you take a look at the URL here, this is a URL that is generated by wishlist member. So what we wanna do is to create our own registration page, which has graphics or any other items that we may need to add onto the page. All right, so I'm gonna leave this open here and let me just show you something quickly. I use the Divi Builder, but of course, Wishlist Member also works with other page builders. So if I click Enable Visual Builder here, this does not allow us to go into that page to make any changes to it. All right, so now we're gonna come back over here. So the best thing to do now is to create a page for our registration. So I'm gonna come over here to Pages. In fact, I'm gonna open this in a um, new tab. Okay, so over here now, we are on our pages. I'm gonna uh, create a brand new one and I'm gonna call this page Gold Membership Registration. Okay, so I'm gonna call this Gold Registration. So here's the thing now. So you don't wanna go directly into the Divi Builder. So first of all, you want to go into the default editor because we need to get the shortcode first for this registration page. So right now I'm in the Gutenberg editor. So what you wanna do is to add a classic added editor. So click here on this plus button and you want to search for classic. And there we go, we have the classic editor now. So what you do now with this classic editor is you just wanna click anywhere in here and you're going to notice now that we have a wishlist member here. This is where you click on this little drop down, and then you go to short codes and then you can, you can come over here to registration forms which is exactly what we want. So you click on that and now we are able to choose whichever membership level that we want. So if you click here on this drop down, it also shows the membership levels that we created earlier on. And this is why I was saying it's very important to create your membership levels first before you create the registration page. Okay, so now what we're going to do since my gold membership here is selected, all I have to do now is to copy this short code like that. And then I'm just gonna close out of this and then I don't need this anymore. So I can either delete it by coming over here to remove block. And then now I can use the Divi Builder. Okay, so now I can click on uh, edit with Divi Builder. So you can either choose from a pre-made layout or you can build from scratch. So I'm gonna click here on start building. So over here, we're just gonna add our columns. So I'm gonna start off with my uh, columns and I'm gonna add two columns two equal columns side by side. And then over here now, I can then add my short code, which I can add by either using the text module or you can use the code module. Okay, so now that I have this over here, I'm just gonna snap this over to the left so that I can, so that I have enough space here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get rid of all this text and paste my short code like that. So now, we have our short code, which is specific for our gold membership. And also, if you take a look here, it says gold membership. Now that I have this all set, all I have to do now is to come over here 
and I can add an image in here. I can do all sorts of things. Okay, so let's add an image in this column here. So I'm gonna click here and find an image to add. So let's say this is a membership website to do with uh, cooking or baking. In this case, uh, let's choose this image here. I'm gonna click upload an image. There we go. Now we have our image. I'm gonna save that. And if we want to add even more sections, we can add more sections. And if you want to add a description of this membership, you can always add that by adding all your modules. So let's say here, we add a text module just to uh, let people know what this membership is about. So we can come over here and say, okay, so this says enroll for gold membership. So let's set this to heading two, we can save that. And then we can just drag this to the top. There we go. So now we've quickly gone in and uh, created our custom registration page. You can also add some padding here if you need to. Now I'm just doing this quickly, but of course you can uh, design this page however you want. The, the idea here now is we have the full capacity of the builder. So this can also be done in other page builders, by the way. The most important thing here is the short code. All right, so now that I have this all set, I'm just gonna save my page. And then next, I'm going to click on Exit Visual Builder. Okay, so there we go. We have our registration page now. So what we can also do here is to further customize this because we can't go in and make customizations to this shortcode. If we need to make any changes, we have to come back over here. So for example, let's say you want to uh, make this form only for new members. You can just come over here and say where it says for both new and existing members. You can just click here on this drop down and say new members only and then save this. Now, if I come back over here and refresh, you're going to notice that existing account here does not show anymore because this now is only for new members. There we go. So as you can see, it's very easy to create your own custom registration pages. You can go ahead and style this using CSS and uh, also you can make this page as amazing as you want it to be. You can embed videos, you can embed pretty much anything that you want to add on this page. So this is a quick tip to show you how to add or create any pages for your members to register on. So that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.